A. Yup, this is my leftovers pedal board with things I found in the cupboard that I don't use. Apart from this wah over here, which has got the LED glow foot thing in it. It's just a Jim Dunlop cry, cry baby. Uh, I'm going to be using a cream pacer, an original 80s closet classic, literally under the bed. <laughs> it's got the original strings on so it doesn't stay in tune that much, as you'll see. There's my clean sound from Laney VC30. There's the wah 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 wah. Boss compressor that compresses to hell no matter what you do with it. The knobs are a bit broken on that, I think. Boss mega distortion, which is like it's like a I'd say it's like a DS1 with a Scud missile up its ass, and a Boss CE2, which I've just repaired. And I've got an extra magic stomp for delays and all, all sorts of. Uh, Stupid stuff, as you'll see later, and I'm just going to use a passive volume pedal for a solo booster. That's my BF1, which was put into hibernation for real estate reasons, let's say. Now, I'll start with the old drive distortion. This thing has tons of gain. I've got everything more or less at 12 o'clock. Let's back it off. You can get some good DS1 sounds out of it. Unmodded DS1 sounds. With the compressor, great for harmonics and stuff. Also use the wah for harmonics. Zach Wild style now and then. Let's just wind up the mega distortion. There you go, gain even more gain. Quite ridiculously heavy in some cases. I've never used that much gear. Fully gained with a compressor game singer. <laughs> so if we back things back off, there's a little bit less hiss as you can hear. Halfway point. With the EQ we have um, those dual concentric pop things, which are really bad if you've got long fingernails like me. Bass and treble. The treble all the way up. And the bass featuring custom shop YouTube compression probably by this point. If you've got a seven string or anything like that, if you want those bass boys and just play guitar with one finger, um, it's really good for that sort of stuff. Stomp to cover all delays and reverbs and tomfoolery. so far to handle most rock gigs. Yeah. 
Magic Stump handles most uh, pitch shift duties as well for those more avant garde moments. That's pretty useful for those sort of dry moments. For more modern sort of rock stuff, I think you've got to have a filter. turn the mega distortion down to its lowest gain level. the scene too, but it's an awful for that sort of classic Leslie type sound that people like to get out of. Before I had it post drive or distortion in this case, here it is before. You can get those nice early Van Halen oscillations by having your flange up before your distortion or overdrive. So in a nutshell, that's my leftovers pedal board. Quite useful. 